Why, hello everyone, this is Sol with another video, and today it's, well, it's going to be, you know, a new month, and we're going to have a new trading posting, and we're going to take a look and react to what is new. New class sets coming to the trading post. This is exciting. This is different. This is new. This is very cool. Uh, and I don't even know how to, uh, how to respond to Kraken Head person over here. Ooh, what class is that? Maybe it's a pre, I don't know. We're gonna, we're, well, we're gonna find out. So let's get right to it. Like the video, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. Beginning with the month of September and each month through November, the Trading Post will be introducing new transmog sets and new uh, transmog weapon sets specific to each class. Each armor set comes with three pieces, a helm, a shoulder, and a belt. And each weapon set comes with three weapons to match each discipline, with the exception of Druids having four and Demon Hunters with two. Sorry, guys. You'll be able to purchase these items with any class character to add to your transmog collection. Keep in mind that only the intended class will be able to use the armor set transmogs and weapon set transmogs. Armor sets will be available to purchase for 450 traders center each, and weapon sets will be available to purchase for 500 each. And here's what you can look forward to in the months ahead. So, we're going to see a couple of these each month. They're going to be class specific. You'll be able to buy them on whatever, but you'll only be able to use them on that particular class. I know that there are folks that have misgivings about that, but I'm a big supporter of if there's going to be class specific stuff, cool. Armor specific stuff, not so much. So, September. That is coming All Right, that's September. What about August? Beginning with September. So, we're getting nothing this month? Is that what is going on? Let's take a look though. So, armor sets. Uh this is so this is what paladins are getting. This is what priests are getting. I was right. Okay, cool. And this is what rogues are getting. So, not bad. A little odd that we're that we're not seeing complete sets because there may not be like great uh, matching pieces. <clears throat> excuse me, matching pieces to go with the head, shoulders, and and belt. So, it's going to be up to folks to you know expand on their collections and try to find something that will uh, be a good match for them. But of course, being like almost naked. Might be all right, too. So the Paladin one is called Plate of the Light Avenger. The Priest is called the Silks of the Unnamed Cult. The Rogue is called the Blood Onyx Uniform. Not much of a uniform because you're kind of like, you know, shirtless and pantsless and, and, and all that stuff. Oh, weapons. Oh, sick. Okay, <laughs> so Paladin weapons, a pretty nice set. No sword, but you got some really killer maces and a pretty good looking shield. It's called Armament of the Light, which comes with a club, makes sense, a hammer, and a kite, or, you know, shield. Here's the priest stuff. So we got our offhand and, uh, and one-hander right there. We have a cool looking staff, cool. And then rogues, we have two kinds of daggers, and we have a big honky sword, right on. Okay, so, and these are the Blood Onyx Blades and the Blood Onyx Serrated Edge. These look pretty cool. These look pretty awesome so far. Uh, and so October, so this is the Death Knight. Uh, this is the, the Demon Hunter one looks sick. And the, and the Druid one looks, it, it looks cool, but it makes their, makes the Druid's head look super small. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a first impression. How's this going to look on like, like a troll or a uh, or a tauren, I wonder. Death Knight is called the Web Serenite Exoskeleton. Very cool. Demon Hunter is called uh, Nathriza Blasphemer's Flames, and the Druid one is the Ashamane's Vestment of Rebirth. Demon Hunter one is really cool. I dig the colors too. And then here are the weapons for the Death Knights. We got um, let's see which one is an axe. So this is a one-handed sword. And then, uh, and then, yeah, two-handed axe, and then a two-handed sword right here. Oh, these look cool. These look cool. I wonder if they're, like, animated, too. That would be pretty sick. Okay, so we got Demon Hunter weapons. Okay, I like these. I love that there are two kinds of weapons uh, for this one. So you can, you can have one on one, one on the other. You can use both. Very cool. I like that. Nathriza Blasphemer's Glaze. Very cool. And then Druids. So they've got, you know, a variety of weapons. They got... Uh, looks like 
is that two kinds of stabs? Oh, so there's a there's a fist weapon, there's the dagger, Ashman's blade of rebirth, and then there are two kinds of stabs. Okay, they get two greedy. That's still <laughs> they still look really cool though. And then all and then all these weapon sets. So weapon sets is going for five hundred. The armors are going for I believe four hundred. Okay, so uh, the warlock one, the jewels of the Illyrian call, the monk, monk is right here. Um, and then what's that last one? Warrior, savage champions trophy. So a lot of these we've seen on Wildhead already, but now we get like our first like you know official official look. This kind of falls under you know this kind of is kind of is similar to what I was saying about the druid. It makes the the warlock's head look really small. <laughs> Uh, hopefully it's not going to uh, be that way on, on, on every model. The warrior one looks pretty cool. I think uh, the, the monk one looks awesome. It has that it has that sort of, uh, you know, that sort of like, I don't know, Mongol vibe or something like that. It, it gives me that sort of look. And I think it's pretty neat. Uh, the monk weapons look sick, too. So they have this. Uh, so the Mistweaver staff uh, that that looks really cool. I really like the, the look of that. The monk staff looks kind of like looks standard it looks like stuff that we've definitely seen before uh, and then and then there we have an offhand i guess is a, no 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 it's a fist weapon okay oh that's dope that's a cool fist weapon to have you know sporting two of them and all that uh warlock weapons you know first first impression no no scythe no scythe looking thing but you know of course we have like lots of skulls we have that strong theme it looks like it looks like this is an offhand i prefer a floating head but still really cool and then there we have the uh the, the dagger there and then warrior weapons sick very solid we got a big old chunky um let's see which one is the uh i want to say that that this one is the two-hander because looks pretty obvious two-hander one-hander and then of course uh the shield with the flowers that's a really cool touch that's a really neat touch on it and then december we're gonna have a bunch of other classes I think it's almost all of them. So the Evoker set is this one right here, the Scales of the Silver Hoarder. The Hunter one looks like a little bug thing, the Horn Strider Warriors Camouflage. I have a feeling that Hunter's are gonna be like, yep, Hunters, screw it again. Uh, mages have, <laughs> the Mage one is, is super reminiscent of like early tier. It has those really vibrant, very bold colors to it. Uh, and the Shaman one looks really cool. I like the Shaman one out of out of this particular lineup. Um, this one, I would have thought this could feasibly have been like a paladin sort of thing too. It would have had a very strong Xandalari troll vibe. But I really like the different themes that are coming from all these different uh, all these different mini sets. Okay, so here's the Evoker. We have got a sword. We got an offhand. We got a big old chunky staff. Very cool. The Treasure of the Silver Hoarder. Uh, the gun, that's what I was kind of waiting for. The gun looks kind of standard, you know, small, uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit big and chunky. I prefer like the rifle style stuff. I'm a, I'm still a big fan of the Wolf Slayer sniper rifle. Um, I do like the bow. The bow looks kind of familiar. How it, it reminds me of, of other bows that I've seen, but still really cool. And I do like this. Uh, I, I, I do like this weapon here too. I do like that pole arm. And then the mage weapons, we have kind of standard stuff. Although this, these look really cool. This one's super, this one has a super Venthyr vibe to it. Super ice, super Venthyr, super like, I guess, I guess would be like an arcane sort of vibe to it. Um, and it's huge. I'm guessing that's, you know, it's not really going to be that big, but looks really cool anyway. And then the shaman weapons, you got that cool fist. Oh, this axe is neat. I like this axe. And they have a really cool shield too. Yay for them. It's a shield, right? Sacred Order of Kragwar's, Kragwar's Executor. And this isn't even the trading post stuff. This is not even like everything that we're going to be seeing. So this right now is just the kinds of, uh, you know, the, the class specific sets that, that we're seeing. But I think this is like pretty awesome. So again, we're going to be uh, getting these, uh, I guess, starting next month, not even this month. So starting in um, starting in September, we're going to start seeing these um, these uh, these weapon and armor sets. Uh, uh, kind of odd that they're kind of previewing these uh, this early. I mean, that's cool. It gives us something to look forward to, you know, to kind of prepare for it, so we can start being like, okay, okay, guys, we're gonna save at least 
a lot. Actually, th this is almost everything, isn't it? Five hundred for uh, five hundred for an, or an, an armor set for each thing. Four fifty for yeah. There's no way that we'll be able to like get all of these. We'll be able to get like you know one full set for a class each month. So you know that these are going to rotate back in at some point. But oh boy. So yeah, I, I guess I am glad that they're telling us a little bit early so we can start saving up and kind of budgeting. Okay, so we're gonna get this much here, this much there. And I'm sure that there's going to be more than a number of folks being like, so uh, are we going to get bundles with like traders tender so I can get more of these sets? Uh, but yeah, the priest one is a standout winner for me. Sorry, paladins, but the weapons are great. Uh, the priest one, priest armor looks looks really awesome. The demon hunter, uh, I'd say, is like the winner out of the October lineup. Um, and then the November lineup, I'm going to say, you know, I, I think the monk one kind of edges out over the others. But I really want to see these in action, too. I want to see if these have like super cool special animations or anything like that. And I got to say the shaman wins for this one uh, for the month of December. Uh, but lots of cool stuff that I'm really looking forward to. What do you folks think? Leave a comment. Let us know what you think. And hopefully we'll see something soon. There's the siren. They're excited, too. But I'll see you guys for the next thing. Hopefully we'll have another video shortly that goes over the other Traders Tender stuff that's going on for this coming month or, you know, tomorrow because, well, it's tomorrow. So thanks, Sirens. Stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, stay breezy.